So the year 2021 is already looking packed with Candyman coming out. We have Spiral, the Book of Saul. Michael Myers is gonna be coming back to the screen. And as well as some news just dropped today that good old Leatherface is gonna be coming back in 2021. Do have some concerns about this project, but we're gonna talk all about it when we get back. Day across the board on the horror spectrum that Texas Chainsaw Massacre was going to be coming back next year, 2021, with a brand new movie. Uh, they don't really have a title for it. And there's really not much information other than the website kind of officially dropped. And there's a little bit of music on there, a little bit of teaser. It's like a nice artwork of a, a leather face and just talking about how he's going to come back. Um, the face of madness in 2021. Um, but this project has kind of been in development for a little bit uh, quite quite some time and there's lots of talk of was this going to be a direct sequel to the original one was this going to be a reboot but doing some digging around and coming up on the imdb page of this uh this lists a reboot of the texas chainsaw massacre horror film franchise and if you read the synopsis or the storyline on this one doesn't really go too well in my opinion. It says, Melody is a 25 year old San Francisco moneymaker who drags her younger teenage sister with her to Texas on a business trip out of fear of leaving her alone in the city. The sister, uh, Dramia, Dram, Dramia, I, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, is an amateur photographer who is wheelchair bound and it's not long until they are fighting for their lives against a 60 year old leather face. Now that to me kind of sounds like a, it's like a sequel, but a reboot because you're doing the whole character in the wheelchair. I saw that in the original one. Um, but I'm guessing this is sort of just taking place in modern times. Like now Leatherface is 60 years old. I don't know if that's much of a threat or kind of scary. Although when you think about something like Don't Breathe and Stephen Lang in that movie, he's like 63, 64, not in the actual movie, but the actual actor is like 63 years old. And I'm pretty sure Stephen Lang could, could whoop my A. I mean, pretty sure. Um, and then you look at movie like the modern uh, Halloween that we got with an older Michael Myers, who was pretty scary, terrifying, even though he's an older Michael Myers. Not quite sure if that's going to have the same effect with Leatherface being older and chasing teenagers, you know, being 60 years old. Uh, Leatherface is always known to be a big husky kind of full figured <laughs> plus size uh, serial killer. So not quite sure if they're going to like lean on like some of that or they're going to just ignore it and just put that he can chase. He can run pretty quick. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to see Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of have a fresh take, you know, a new fresh sense, because this is like the ninth movie in the franchise. And really, I only enjoyed the first one and the remake um, by, you know, producer by Michael Bay that came out in 2003. And then Texas Train, uh, Chainsaw 3D, I really like, but that's more of like, it's so bad that I love it. Hopefully they do some things good. Hopefully they kind of refresh uh, Leatherface for a modern age. Um, 
he's kind of been out of it for a good while. I think they need to lean into the story a lot. Um, it needs to have a really good story. A Leatherface always brings, you know, the horror elements and the family and the creepiness, but we need a bit more of a substance with uh, the story and and a bit more with these characters and just kind of the, the, the setting of Texas needs to be kind of like a part of the story, very much so. So that is it um when we get more news on this hopefully uh we'll start seeing some pictures or trailers soon uh probably not until next year but that is it that is it texas chainsaw massacre coming back next year along with michael and Candyman and and uh jigsaw and it's kind of shaping up to be pretty good for 2021 as far as horror concerned so that is it. That's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Leave it down below. Leave the video a thumbs up. And thank you guys for the support. And I'll see you next time. Adios.